Hey guys, so I figured I'd show you um, a really quick way on how to make uh, cardboard jigs for projects that you're doing with your Glowforge. I mean, this is applicable to really any laser, as long as you know your bed size. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm doing for some slate coasters real quick. So, first things first, I go. I went ahead and um, cut a piece of cardboard that's big enough to lay within my bed here. I'm butting it up against the side here on the Glowforge just so that it doesn't flop around. If I don't have enough cardboard, what I would do is I would get honeycomb pins and I would pin it. Um, but since this is pretty snug in here, you can see it's like up, kind of up against here. It's fine. Up against here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pin it to one side. The honeycomb pins are a game changer. If, um, you haven't used them, I suggest doing them. They're on the Glowforge user um, forum, on their like official forum, but it's also available up on the Facebook group, the uh, Glowforge user group um, forum for the file to cut these. Anyway, I have my material pinned down here. So I'll go ahead and show you my artwork that I have set up. Pardon the mess, I know, it's crazy in here right now. So um, I work in Illustrator and here you can see that I have basically two layers. I have the top layer, which gives me my cut lines. This is where I'm going to be placing my coasters. This is the same size roughly as my coasters. And then my bottom layer down here, which is my actual artwork that I have. Okay, so I exported it as an SVG. Now I'm uploaded it uh, into the Glowforge user interface. So you can see on here, I have two layers, just as I need my artwork. This is actually my jig template right here, what's going to be cut. So when I do the actual cutting for the template, you'll see that there's sometimes a misalignment, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set focus where I know it's going to cut. So click here, it's gonna do its thing. Once that's done, I'm going to ignore my artwork. Oops, I'm going to ignore my artwork. And then for the cut, I'm going to hit cut. And typically I do have it saved. I don't have it saved for cardboard, but I do know my settings for it. It's 300 at full power, one pass. Okay, and you can see where it is on my interface. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit ready. It's gonna do its thing. Okay, 54 seconds, pop back over here, push the magic button, my exhaust. And these are the uh, slate posters that I'll be doing. This razor blade has seen better days. So let it rehome. All right, so now just remove these. Okay, so now my little slate coasters are ready to go.
these are under the half inch. Saw that shifted slightly, so I'm gonna push it back just a little bit. My artwork has enough bleed though. That's why you have bleed in your artwork, just in case something slightly moves. All right. So now this is set and I'm ready to actually do my artwork. So back over to my computer. Print done, dismiss. So now I'm going to ignore my jig cut. And now I am going to engrave my actual um, artwork. Anyway, I use my mirrored glass setting. Um, do a thousand. I'm gonna actually, I'll leave it at full power and I'm gonna go ahead and pump it to 270 lines per inch. Now, when I do my set focus, I redo it on the tile itself. And this is where I was saying that the alignment will be off. It's going to look like grossly off on here. Well, maybe not too bad, but. Still focusing, ready, okay. Yeah, you can see that it sort of looks like, oh, it's a little too close to the edge here. This looks like it's gonna fall off. Um, it's not, um, it's good to go. Trust your artwork. You know where my jig cut is, and that's where I cut it on the material. The focus height from what it's looking for is just from the lens, um, Oh, whatever the word is for it. It's screwing up the actual look of it, but always trust your artwork. If you trust your artwork, you, it should be fine every single time. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let this render. It's probably gonna take me about, I wanna say half an hour to do this engrave, but I used this same exact method and I'll show you the um, what they looked like. So that's what they looked like when they were done. And I used the same exact method. So yeah, that's how you make a jig out of cardboard.